when life is showing up and bugging the crap out of us, <laughs> what can we do? You know, I love the analogy of the dashboard on our car. You know, we all have a dashboard on our car and there's these little lights that come on. They could be the tire pressure light, yeah. the oil light, the engine light. Yeah. And those are the challenges and the adversity that we face in our life. And they are actually the instrument lights on our dashboard. It's a masterful system, you know, <laughs> because when stuff shows up in your life, whether it's in your physical health, well-being, or in the world around you, it's actually pointing to lower density energy within your field that needs to be dissipated, that needs to be processed, that needs to be released and let go. And without those things, we would never pay attention to them. It's like, right. you know, the adversity in our life can cause us to go down certain paths that certainly in my case, I would have never gone down if I hadn't faced the adversity in my life. But ultimately, it was pointing to something within me that needed to be shift and transform. The unfortunate thing is in our society, we've kind of been conditioned that if you have problems or challenges, you're supposed to lament them. You know, it should be happening to my neighbor, woe is me. <laughs> you know, instead of that, honor them, inquire them, because within those challenges and that adversity is a seed. It's an opportunity for you to reclaim a piece of your divine essence, a piece of the truth of who and what you are. And when we come from that position, facing our adversities and our challenges in our life, we shift the whole energy on them and we can actually open the door for really quick exponential transformation.